Hi guys, how are you? Hey you, Scott. Hey you guys. <laughs> oh, was that recording? That better be recording. You can go on our little our little collection of people saying hey you guys. <laughs> we love your name. <laughs> I haven't thought about the Goonies and Sloth in so long. It was oh, the Goonies. Good yeah. good times. Good times. Yeah. Uh, guys, congratulations on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so many reasons to get involved. I'm sure one of them being Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, any opportunity to work with him, you can't really turn down. I wonder what what maybe advice he gave to you or any kind of nuggets of maybe wisdom that he gave you uh, on the set. Maybe Marshall, I'll, I'll throw that to you first. Oh, you know, he didn't specifically give it to me, but I was sitting right next to him when he was giving it to another actor. And it was about not not working towards something your entire career that because you'll miss the moments that are important like all the things that you know that no matter where you are you think you should be somewhere else so if you're working towards oh i'm gonna i, I can't wait until i make you know two million dollars a year they were specifically talking about money and sam was basically like listen man you gotta enjoy every moment because when you start making two million dollars a year you're gonna start thinking i need to be making four million dollars a year you know, and you're always going to be striving for some elusive end point, which doesn't exist. So enjoy each moment. Enjoy when you're making 400 bucks, you know, a week and, and hoping to make more. But enjoy that every single uh, step of the journey. That's such a that's such a I, just to picture him saying it. It's such a Samuel thing to say. I, I, I mean, he said it with a lot more <laughs> curse words than I just did. But yes, you can imagine. <laughs> Like, motherfucker, what the hell are you talking about? You want to be like like that. <laughs> <laughs> now I get it. Now I can hear it. <laughs> uh, Omar, what about you? Because you, you work quite closely with him in, in, in the show. I mean, that must have been an amazing time for you as, a, as an actor to work with someone like him. Yeah, but he held out on me. I didn't get any money advice. So I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I, it was a great experience. I mean, uh, you know, going toe to toe. Uh, one thing that he was, he was super generous with his experiences and with his time because uh, offset we would speak you know while they were setting up cameras and whatnot we would speak about his experiences in new york theater and the crop of actors he grew up with and all of that and i mean that that stuff that i'll you know i, I take with me and and use that that was just a blessing and wisdom because he shared with me uh, just a whole bunch of stories from films that he didn't get into like a, a soldier story but he was in the original play to how it came about doing Unbreakable and Mr. Glass and all of these, you know, all of this stuff. So that stuff is priceless. Yeah. He usually talks about his purple lightsaber a lot from what I've, from what I've seen when he's on Graham Norton or something, he's always talking about his purple lightsaber. I don't know if we had that kind of relationship, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I heard that in my head afterwards. That was a bit, that was a bit silly. Um, just as a, just as a final question. And I mean, it must be great as actors to, to play all these amazing roles, but to play them for more time than you would if you're in a, a film setting, you know, you guys get to do this for uh, a lot longer and delve to, to, a little bit deeper into your characters. How exciting is that for you as performers that you get to, to do something like this and for a longer time than you would have done say in the in the movies uh maybe marshall i'll chuck that to you first i love yes I, I i love a limited series for that very reason to me it feels a lot more it's it's interesting that this was based on a novel because the limited series for me feels like a big thick book um you get to spend time with the people you get a little bit more than you would get, would get in a film you get uh in-depth characters you get a journey um, and as an actor, the, you, that's all you want. You, you want to be able to flesh this thing out a little bit more, get more time with, you know, all these characters that you meet in the novel. Um, just the fact that I, I got to work th with Duran, Duran who plays my son Hilliard, just more time with building that relationship for the mother and son relationship and seeing all the ups and downs and the weirdness and complexity and, and awkwardness that comes from that relationship um so yeah as an actor it's i i love the format of the limited series yeah same for you Omar. uh yeah i you know i really just love to work and it was a it was a circumstance where this being a limited series i want to say this is my first limited series mm. i didn't uh i i try to focus on the day-to-day -day. and one thing i do like uh, is having an end date 
you know, because you get so deep into these characters, it, it can become a part of you. And so for me in this one, it was intense because of the trajectory of the character and where he fits into the story. Um, so it was a little bit different than what it is when you do a movie and you, you move to a new city for three or four months and so on and so forth. Or when you do a television show that's ongoing and you're just kind of there open-ended. So for me, it was just about the day-to-day. -day. I, I had a great time working and doing these scenes because my scenes were, you know, head to head with Sam. And I got the, also had the awesome experience of meeting all the wonderful members of the ensemble because we had read throughs and makeup tests and wardrobe tests and where you got to speak with each other about the story as a whole and about your character. So it, it's all a real blessing to be a part of. Amazing. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Absolute pleasure talking to you and uh, I hope the show goes really well for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!